Sir David Cameron. Dave. Davy boy. The Davester. The D-man. No, maybe not that one. That could be taken in the wrong way. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, recently, some of my friends on Facebook were putting up articles saying about you going, I don't want to take part in the TV debates unless the Green Party are also invited. I don't know why I'm making you do this. Anyway, now a lot of us were kind of like, well, that's kind of a nice move because it's ensuring that the Green Party are involved when they should be. But it's kind of, there's probably an ulterior motive in there, and I think it might be to do with trying to split the Liberal, Democrat and Labour voters between three parties rather than two, because you've got UKIP nipping at your heels and trying to steal all of your votes. And guess what? You proved me right, because you basically kind of said that somewhere, and then you simultaneously backed out of another debate thing that already included the Greens which was Leaders Live, which was something that I was a part of. By the Ballot very kindly asked me to be a part of Leaders Live, which was an opportunity for young people to ask people that they follow on social media, such as me and the other people who are in the studio audience, like questions that mean something to young people. Basically anyone following me on social media could send me a question and I was one of the people able to ask those questions to the leaders of various political parties. And the first party leader that they invited was Natalie Bennett of the Greens. So David Cameron basically kicked in the face the chance to sit and be in a part of a debate series that included the Greens already. Basically that makes it quite obvious that he doesn't actually care about the Green Party, he just probably doesn't want lots of people asking lots of questions. It's just so annoying because the bite the ballot people were being so nice and understanding and being like well he's the Prime Minister he can't like give us a date straight away because he's you know got a lot of stuff on his plate. But to pull out completely when it's, it's an hour, like literally other people stayed for selfies and stuff, but you don't have to, you could just, just come in, film it and go and we would be understanding because you're the Prime Minister, you've got stuff to do, at least I hope you do, I sincerely hope you do. But by avoiding this, you are ignoring youth voters, you are not giving them the opportunity to ask you questions about policies that will affect them, it just comes across as you not caring about young people, which I kind of think is true because you only seem to go after the grey vote which is like older voters with your bingo and beer deals. <sighs> If you don't take part in Leaders Live, you are missing out on a massive opportunity because not only is this a chance for young people to grill you, but it's also an opportunity for you to engage young voters and talk to them, put your side across, put their minds at ease and try and maybe turn a few of them into Tories. Like, we're giving you a platform and you're ignoring it. I mean, it's all well and good writing nice letters saying, oh, this is such a good idea, but then not actually doing anything when it comes around. I mean, all mouth, no trousers much. This whole thing just comes across like you don't understand or don't want to understand youth voters. You don't want to have that connection with them because last time you tried, it didn't go down very well, did it? Hug hoodie, little bit patronizing. Uh. There are a whole load of young people who are willing to take time out of their day to pose you questions and sit and listen to you, me included. I personally have some questions about the NHS, thanks to some interesting A&E experiences this December. We're young people and we just want to make sure that us and the people that we were representing in those studios, i.e. our followers, our subscribers, our Twitter followers, everyone like that, we just want to know if all of us are going to be positively or negatively affected directly by your policies. I'm going to be honest and say that I would never ever vote for you in a million years, but I was willing to sit and listen. It's a shame that you're not. During this whole process of trying to engage fellow young voters, something that I've seen time and time again is people saying that they feel disengaged with politics because they feel like politicians can't relate to them and ignore them. And you're proving them right, at least where the Tories are concerned. 
And I was like Davy, 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 oh, like Davy, 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 no, oh, Davy, 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 oh, you backed out of leader's life, cause you are a baby, 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 oh, yes, baby, 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 whoa, yeah, baby, 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 oh, you're scared of young people online, line. I've sorted the charity single, guys. Let's get young people voting. Yeah. I'm an adult, honestly.